Look at this guy. Look at his. We got a picture of his most beautiful side. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my God. That's a massive turtle. Is that a snapper? He's a snapper. That's a, that's a Chicago River snapper. Are you kidding me? Look at that beast. Hey, how you doing, guy? You look good. You're healthy. Oh, shit. We're rolling. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Where'd the other guy go? Look at that guy. Look at the size of this thing. Holy hell. You look good. I'm real proud of you. You've been eating healthy. You, you ever heard of liquid salad? We've been doing that. Al does that. You know, he's thick but strong. Are you happy to have spring? Damn, that's a scene if there ever was one, man. Look at that. <laughs> He's just hanging out on the rusty chains. We should take him out to eat. Welcome to another episode of Crime Page, but Biden he doesn't. Today we're going out on a beautiful Chicago River. It kind of smells like sewage effluent, and we're going to see what's going on down south of Goose Island and stuff. See if we can pick up some tetanus from this rancid water. No, no, it's good. This is fine right here. Tell us about the beavers. You see a lot of beavers down here? Um, we don't see them too often. We've seen a, a few trees around here that have been uh, eaten by beavers, and then I've seen them on the on the bank there between the two bridges. But this before. is a new thing, the beavers being here. They weren't here five, ten years ago, would you say, or what? I'm not sure. Um, Are they problematic, yeah, though? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, they were here, you know, and then uh, they weren't here for... A while, and they seem to be uh, coming back. So they yeah. got exterminated. Do you think if Mayor Daly was still mayor, he would do something about them? Try to get them out of here? Or something? No, I don't he'd think so. Yeah, yeah. He'd, 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 he'd increase the population. Do you think Mayor Daly would do that himself? He'd Maybe do like the a beaver. Ghost of the first Mayor Daly, but not the living second Mayor Daly. Okay, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Look at it. You could see the remnants of one of these graffiti vandals, canes. It just so wantonly left. You know, to float by itself in the vestiges of this uh, beautiful river here. You can see the different kinds of trash we have on a river. Boat foam, plastic bottles, and even the spent stamens of uh, Acer Nagundo, the box elder, one of our most important trees here, native trees in the city of Chicago. Okay, now you can see we're out here on a river. You can see they got a fake coyote, probably to scare off the beavers, you know, because they're causing a lot of trouble around here, gnawing on the trees and stuff. But, uh, you know, the river's really been cleaned up recently. I mean, this was a, a feeded body of water uh, all but uh, 10 or 15 years ago. I mean, it still kind of is, but the fish diversity has been increasing and the beavers are back, which I don't expect to see. So we're going to keep going down there. We're, ta we're basically bathing and it's, we're, we're taking a bath in the water. You know, I feel like I'm being baptized in the waters of the Chicago River and taking a bath. You're right. Let's turn our attention uh, to this. Uh, what do we got here? What's this plant? We got it. We got a. Is it Acer Nagundo up top? And then, oh, this is Acer Nagundo too. These are box elders. Okay, these are some of, uh, you know, as Chicagoans, our most uh, beloved and important trees. It's technically a maple. You can see the dongs right there. Uh, you know, a lot of smell is really powerful on a river here. You could see. Uh, so these are the dongs. Those are the stamens basically drooping out. Okay. Uh, and again, it's technically a maple species, but it thrives in disturbed areas, just like European buckthorn. So you'll reach, you know, neglected areas in the city of Chicago where you only see European buckthorn and uh, box elder trees growing. Now, as you can see, we got some jag in a motorboat approaching us uh, quite fast. So that's going to generate a little bit of wake. But uh, meanwhile, we're going to we're going to take a look at this glass monstrosity. L, do you have something you'd like to say about this? Uh, you like to say about that? Uh, building up there? Well, as I gaze upon it, all I could think is that the exterior is as bland and vapid as maybe the people inside and the jobs that they're doing in there. That's very eloquent, Al. Thank you. So anyway, we're going to keep going down, uh, doing our bi of uh, one of the filthiest rivers in the Midwest, okay? But maybe not anymore. Maybe it's not that filthy no more. Look at it. As you can see, there's an honest-to-God turtle on the Chicago River in this river. There he goes. He just bailed, but you know, it's nice to know they're here. I mean, you know, you could put the turtles in the Chicago River, but you're still gonna have plenty of Chicago in the Chicago River right there. You, you know what that is. Anyway, looking right above, we got a species of uh, Morris of Mulberry, probably the invasive one. Of course, we got our old friend Acer Nagundo, the box elder. Uh, and thank God, 
I don't see any freaking buckthorn. That water is rancid, as you can see. And uh, Al, have you gotten quite- It's fully inundated, and I don't mind. In fact, I feel one with the city, and I'm gonna go take a nice shower, and uh, take some little kicks so I vomit up these toxins. You can see what they're doing over there. They're creating little bioswales. See, they put the netting up. They let the uh, organic matter just collect and, uh, you know, to get the goose hanging out. And they're little, basically create little islands in what's otherwise just a heavily channelized and iron-gated uh, body of water. Uh, this appears, oh, this is actually a hibiscus species. I can tell just judging from that epicalyx and that fruit. So uh, let's see what we got in there for seeds. Well, definitely, those are hibiscus seeds. Possibly hibiscus mochuetos. Anyway, we're going to take some of these seeds. We're going to throw them over there. So hibiscus, of course, there's many riparian hibiscus in the Midwest. Some of them quite beautiful. And, uh, you know, someone knew to plant the native hibiscus here, right here on this uh, toxic river. It's not too big. Hey, duck, what's going on? And you can see how they did this. They basically they got this, uh, looks like they got hay bales and uh, uh, the black uh, plastic netting to hold everything together. But they've basically, Jesus Christ, just got dive bombed by a carpenter bee. They've basically created a nice little marshy baggy area. I think they did a really good job. I'm also fascinated by the uh, structure that they got going on. You see, they got these steel corners and they got this stuff bolted together with the logs, I think. We definitely got some bioswale technology going on here. You could do this on a Gowanus, you know? That's a really filthy river. You know, but this is, it's nice this is happening. I mean, this is, this is maybe, this is one of the nice, uh, nice effects of gentrification. You know, aside from all the evictions and poor people getting forced out and developers making a ton of money while everybody else's rent goes up. I mean, I guess it somewhat incentivizes cleaning up many of these filthy places. Too bad it takes, you know, rich people being around to uh, make it happen or, you know, to incentivize the city to make it happen. Too bad they didn't do when it's just poor people here. But, uh, you know, better late than never, I guess. But this is all hibiscus. This is all a freaking hibiscus. It's our native Illinois hibiscus. I can't believe that. Look at those, look at those fruits. See that? That's nice. That's pretty fucking nice. I bet that looks great when it's going off, you know? Really counteracts that uh, rusty wall. Look at that. You got muscle diversity. You got bivalve shell right here. How'd that get in there? Almost looks like the piece of trash that's right next to it, huh? Let's flip it over. There you go. Look at that. That's a good, in they're indicator species. They're filter feeders stuff i didn't even know you had that stuff in here you know maybe a seagull just pulled it from the trash at one of these fancy restaurants it could be that it could be that i'd like to think there's actually uh, you know mussels and bivalves and shit down in the water it could be look at it you get a milkweed see you see those old follicles all those, those old fruits everything's just coming back but i'm pretty that's pretty nice i'm pretty uh I'm pretty impressed you got you got liverworts growing on the hay on a substrate look at these guys you see that you see that you know what's going on over there see these guys how they gonna how long are they gonna be there till they bail huh i'm glad it's not too nasty for you you know uh oh we're gonna run aground al we're gonna run aground look at that seems like they got one of those lovers motels you know out in stickney you know you pay 40 bucks they got like a fridge full of flowers and a many many marriages have been broken there look at that guy's ass look at it look at his ass Look at this guy. Look at that. Oh, you could smell it a Blommer chocolate factory, but we actually have a more, more diversity up there. You got a species of viola, and I believe that's the native one. Then we got, what's this guy up there? Oh, yeah, it's a viburnum. Oh, about to hit the retention wall. Look, you got a, how old is that rope up there? So many questions. To, oh, we got a, we got a Judapurus virginiana to an eastern red cedar. I think that's, I think we logged like 16 species now for the river. Look at that, it's a giant buckthorn, a giant ramless cathartica. That's so sad, right? Cause of lots of biodiversity loss in a great city of Chicago. Look at that, Ellie Agnes and Gustafoya from the Middle East. Another invasive, but thriving here in this uh, filthy river, on the margins of this filthy river, uh, next to an industrial area. Look at that, we got Atlantis Altissima, the tree of heaven, another invasive. Everything's invasive except for the Acer Nagundo, the box elder. But you got an ash maybe too. See, there's that Ellie Agnes again. See with the the uh, the chalky chalky minty green leaves. Oh, uh, look, it's a Siberian elm, another invasive. But look at how it's coming. Look at how it's growing out of this uh, probably 80 year old retention wall made out of wood. See that held together by the beams and stuff. Might be older. I was hoping it'd be like a native hackberry or something, a native Celtis. How old is that rope? What was going on here in the 70s? I bet it was terrible. 
So you got the graffiti tag bangers over there too. Nobody knows the river like the graffiti tag bangers. Look at that, we got the swallows are out too. It's such a beautiful day. You see that, they're building little mud huts up there. Look at them fly. Look at them fly. Look at that, that's a nice bridge. That's a nice place to live if you're homeless. Look at that, we got a new species. We're gonna hit the wall. Oh, we got a new species, it's an alder. See those little things that look like cons? Do you see the cons? It's fixed in nitrogen in this uh, filthy rock wall composed of uh, concrete. All right, anthropogenic rock. Oh, look, you got a, that's a solid dago right there. That's a golden rad. That's a beautiful plant right there. Very important for the pollinators, right? Just the leaves just coming back. Look at it. Holy shit. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this. I, this is the first alder we've seen on a filthy Chicago river. Is it a native one or is it the European one? I don't know. But uh, I can put in the captions for you. See that? That's pretty nice. See that? Look, coming right out the wall over there. Al, would you say that you're uh, impressed about how clean a river is? Based on the reptiles, probably. It's a lot cleaner than it was, but based on the taste, we still got a lot of work to do. I gotta ask you, what was your favorite piece of debris that you've seen today on a river? Uh, you know, I have to say it's a, possibly a piece of foam. Uh, we've seen a bunch of plastic bottles, uh, other trash. Didn't see any fecal material, but the uh, ride's not over yet. You know, I think that sunken steel girder is pretty nice. What's that thing? Look at that. It's a big piece of iron. I'm surprised some scrapper hasn't taken it yet. Uh oh, we're going into the trash. Look at that. You see these, they got these logs tied to the, you see what they're doing? They're creating habitat for the turtles. It's just a common slider, but still, you know, it's nice to have the life around. People like having a life around, especially in a big shitty city, you know, where it can be pretty depressing because, you know, that's what people do. They, they do depressing shit. See that? Look at a little comet slider. Probably somebody dumped him, dumped his great great grandpa there, you know, had him in a pet store and then they had to get rid of him or something. Who knows? But that's cool. See, you're taking ropes, tying the logs to the to the edge of the river right here, so the turtles got a spot to sit down. You like that? Huh? See? People do nice stuff sometimes. Oh look at that. We got some sedum over there. How about that? It's that sketchy grate. Covering up a tube suck you under see there look you got more of that sedum over there see coming out the cracks it's a non-native species i think it's a sarmentosum which is native to asia but you know it's still it's it's striving here in a, the uh in a filthy shits see all the danglers over there that's all virginia creeper grape family vitaceae see it's a native okay as you can see the tube is expelling right there and we were strictly told that there were no tubes on this river we've seen quite a few tubes Anyway, that's all we got for you today. Have a good rest of your afternoon, evening, whatever the shit. Go fuck yourself. Bye.